Hi, we're Years and Years. And you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Years and Years. How are y'all doing? Good. Good. <laughs> good. Good. We're good. We're Looking good. good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> well, the last time we spoke was before you had anything released for this debut record. I don't even think you've begun writing anything yet. And now you've released Communion, the debut. So how long have you actually been working on that? When did you interview us? How many years ago? I believe it was a year and three quarters ago. That sounds about, about right. That. Yeah. yeah. There was maybe one or two things that kind of were sort of half written ish from before then that kind of made it onto the album, but mostly it's been, yeah, the last year, year and a half, two years. You're mixing a lot of different nuances from R and B. You have some electronic kind of house on there. I know some records go some artists go right into the studio thinking we're gonna create a indie pop record or a neo soul record. So do you kind of have that in mind going into the studio, we're going to have all these nuances or did it just end up that way? We sort of did free jazz and just <laughs> played around and it kinda ended up like that. I think yeah, I think we had obviously we've been together for a few years, for like five six years now. Um, so we kind of arrived at our sound, and we knew what we sounded like, and we that was sort of natural. So when we went to the studio. We knew we'd uh, mess around and have fun, and and um, that it would sound electronic and it would sound like us. But we didn't really have a blueprint or anything like mm -hmm. that. Kind of just sort of I don't know. We come up with a way of working that feels natural. So. You went in and kind of just let yeah. it go with the flow, I guess. Yeah, and, wha and once you have, um, <laughs> and <laughs> once you have, once you have like a, f once you have a few songs that you like, you think, oh well, we should just, the rest of the album should sound like that, I think, because then it's kind of more obvious which songs wouldn't work and stuff. So. I read that you grew up listening to artists like Stevie Wonder, Johnny Mitchell, some really great classics, but yeah. you got more into electronic music. So, are there any other electronic artists out there that you've been digging lately, or whether they influence you on the record that you could share with our viewers at home? Many, yes, many. lots. Recent ones. Uh, we, we all really love Caribou. You're Emery's a really big Caribou fan. There's a duo. I think they just released their debut, or they might not even release their debut yet, from the UK called Marabou State, who are really, really okay. good. Okay. Um, and then Little album Dragon. Little Dragon, we were really influenced by Little Dragon. Little Dragon, um, subtract. Um, Fly Low, Flying Lotus, Rihanna. Okay. Rihanna, I'm supporting the fuck from near my head. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Doesn't always happen. <laughs> um, yeah. And the record's full of these amazing love songs. Some of them about some dysfunctional relationships. So, what would you say? It's a bit of a stumper, but some of your favorite love songs. Ooh, favorite oh. love songs. Ooh, my favorite love song I think is possibly "Song to the Siren" by Tim Buckley. Okay. It's um, yeah, it's amazing. "Last yeah. Goodbye" by Jeff Buckley. Also, a very good love song. It's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Stevie Wonder's done loads. Yeah. So I mean, pretty much most great pop songs are, good, yeah. are about love or something to do with or failed love or something to do with heartbreak or. Yeah. <laughs> so there's plenty to pick from. But What's yeah, yours? I'm trying to think. Mikey's got. I don't listen to love. Cold <laughs> what do you listen to? <laughs> like Tom Waits, but he doesn't <laughs> sing about love that much. He, he does a bit. Ones. Picture in a Frame is my favorite. He's Tom quite like he tells like stories, yeah, like quite abstract narrative. stories. Yeah, I, sh I kind of like those kind of lyrics. Okay. <laughs> and you're taking the album across North America. Toronto's the first show for this North American tour. So were you expecting there to be such a great response from across the pond? Because so many of these shows have sold out. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, I was surprised, Shocked. to be sure. I, it's, yeah, I don't know. But we've done, um, we did a few shows, uh, when was it, like February? No, April, yeah. it was your birthday. April. Around yeah. April, and we did a few shows around the US, East and West Coast, and we were like really surprised by the fact that people turned up and were really, <laughs> really enthusiastic. So we kind of are, are hoping for the same. So it, it was great fun and it should be fun. But this is our first time in Canada, so we have no idea. Correct. Welcome. Yeah. Have you had any time to explore yet, or did you just kind of get in, press, uh, and then show, and you'll see? Not that <laughs> much <laughs> time. Anything, yeah. Is there anything you We don't you usually see, see much of a city. <laughs> I want to go to the CN Tower. Yeah? That's kind of like a lame tourist thing, right? I like doing lame tourist things. <laughs> I think it's fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Well, when you do get some downtime, aside from the tourist thing, is there anything that you look for when you're in a city, whether it's really good eats, like thrift shopping, what are your go-tos? Definitely food is a big, big coffee. part. Coffee. Coffee, yeah, to get good coffee. Also, if there's a nice park, go for a run mm -hmm. around a park. That's nice. Or a river. 
Um, <laughs> we're, we're big fans, fans of water. Yeah. <laughs> I like water. H2O. Yeah, you just never get any time. Like when you go to a place, there's never any time. I was thinking back to about a year and a half ago, and I had a bunch of UK writers who were actually covering a bunch of your shows over there, and you were doing support slots. So how does it feel that the tables have turned and you're now headlining a bunch of these awesome tour dates across North America? You're also doing some great shows in October for a couple Halloween things, which have some awesome bills. So oh, wow. what's that like? It's, I mean, to like some people, some bands are support bands like for a lot longer than we were, but we were a support band for, I guess, six months. No, yeah, no. Maybe well, probably a year. Yeah. Was it? Oh well, yeah, okay. Yeah, like yeah, we didn't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. About yeah. maybe a year, which isn't very long, but um, yeah, it's so nice to then not be a support man anymore. <laughs> like we're so, it's so you're so grateful when you get on a good. It's like when you level up in school. Yeah, yeah. That's when you go to year twelve. You're like become a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's much better. Are there any bands <laughs> in the future you'd like to bring along as support? We, all our support, actually, we've always Sam we Smith. Sam Smith <laughs> we always pick us. I've always been so, like so happy with the supports that we've had. Like I just think they're amazing. Like from TK M- Maidza, who supported us in the UK, and um, Shamir who's supporting us, Taishi who's supporting us in this tour. She's amazing. Um, we've always had Oscar su- oh. Key Sung. Mm-hmm. We've always had really good. Sam th- Shaw. Yeah. Oops, who else has supported us? Who's really 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 good? Um, what's her name? Laura. Laura Dogger. Oh yeah. Laura Dogger. Yeah. She's good. Yeah. No, it's great. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Loads of great fans. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wrap everything up for all of your fans who are going to be viewing our interview. Is there any message that you'd like to share to all of them? The term is st- striker, sorry. That's like another person I like. <laughs> um, message. Um, message. 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 Ooh. Message. Sting. Um, Sting? Good love songs. This is a bad message. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're just so confused. Take two. What message? You can't edit that, can't you? Nope. Really? No, we can. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. You've put me on the spot. I don't. We're not very. I mean, be j- like Jerry Springer. Be good to each other. <laughs> be good to each other. Wow, <laughs> Jerry Springer. I didn't that. Well, I don't know. That's very messagey. Um, thanks for. Thank you. Is that a uh, squirrel? And this is a shambles. Sorry. A shambles. There was a squirrel though, and it, it was, was a black Sunday squirrel. There. And then never see black Jerry. squirrels. Oh my god. Is that Wonderful. A or is it like a skunk? Is that your first Toronto squirrel? Yeah, it's completely black. I've never seen that before. (laughs) Well, on that note, that wraps everything up. (laughs) Look out for squirrels. Look out for squirrels, everyone. (laughs) And a massive thank you to your seniors for your time today. We really do appreciate it. And remember, everyone, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for exclusive interviews, features, and videos with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.